This is a Range Rover Vogue. It's the SE 4.4 turbo diesel, a five door, 2011 on a 61 plate. Um, really, really good spec on this car. Um, fuel economy, urban 24.6, extra urban 34.5, combined is 30.1. A 0 60 and 7.5 seconds, a top speed of 130 miles per hour, 308 brake horsepower engine, and uh, 32 valves. Um, one of my favourite cars, it's done 90,358 miles. A few weeks ago, we had a uh, Westminster come in, the 4.4 Westminster. And I'd never driven one, I always wanted to took it out for a test drive. It was an absolutely beautiful car. I normally use Range Rover Sports. Um, we advertised that and within a few hours we got inquiries and the car sold. So I never got to use it. I, I did a test drive on it. Anyway, since then I've wanted another one. This came in on Saturday. Saturday was my day off. John very diligently advertised it. We got an inquiry within a few hours, and uh, this one sold too before before I've got to use it. So uh, to say I'm miffed is is a bit of an understatement. I was telling my girlfriend uh, the spec of this car and that it was coming in. We were expecting it it's in, and uh, she says, uh, "Look at your face. It's lit up," which it did. I've I can I've driven all sorts of cars. I used to work for a supercar firm. And the owner there used to tell me to go home in Lamborghinis and Ferraris to familiarise myself with them, uh, so I could tell customers how they drove. And, and although I like the look of them, driving them doesn't do anything for me. These Range Rovers, they're great. You can just go anywhere in them, jump in them, and you know you're going to get there. No matter what the weather's like, you're going to get there. Very, very comfortable, like driving around in your favorite armchair as I always say um, you can see above everybody even on days like this it's throwing it down these huge puddles everywhere in Preston it just doesn't matter the tires clear snow I, I was out in snow the other day in one everybody else is struggling and Range Rover you're just gonna get there this has got a great specification as I've already said and a great service history. It, uh, I, I won't bore you with the details because it's, as I say, it's sold. Um, but I'm still gonna take you for a drive in it anyway because I want to. Right, great service history. As I say, I'm, I'm, I'm not in the best of moods. Uh, let's just have a look. Settings. Rear entertainment, rear entertainment system. It has all the iPod sockets in there. It's also got somewhere, which I don't know where it is, but it has a control for the uh, the rear entertainment. So you've got TV at the front. You've got dual screen sat nav. Um, we've got cameras here, as you can see there. Hopefully from this camera. It's, uh, you can see all, basically you can see all round. We'll enlarge them. Proximity view. It's not gonna be the best view because it, it is lashing down with rain. Towing assist, caravan, car trailer, horse box. It, it's, okay. Right, let's see. Audio, video. We'll go on to sat nav. <sighs> Navigation. Agree that you're not going to get distracted, and uh, you you can have it. TV. Terry, my dad six that World Cup when he got sent off. What was his view of that? Um, I think he was. I think the other day. I think the frustrations just got older. So there you go. Oh, 
unfortunately Ray Wilkins died. Great player. Okay, electric memory seats, Harman Kardon speakers. Uh, you've got the seats are electrically operated, as is the steering wheel, height and reach adjustable. You've got cup holders here. You've got the rotary gear knob, which I like. You've got your terrain response settings, front central armrest. I'll just take you for a blast in it now. The 4.4 engine, you've got a sunroof. anything behind me the car is just fantastic you're way way up in the air you can see as far as you want to in front of you over the cars in front so you're always aware that the car in front of you is going to break probably before the car in front of your nose is going to break because you can see that far in the distance We've got power folding door mirrors. Just um, adjust the door mirrors here. That one's a bit too high up. We've got piano black finish on the doors here. The steering wheel, paddle shift, cruise, your telephone controls. I'm so miffed that this car sold. <laughs> Huge front central armrest. Then you've got the individual armrests for driver and passenger. The seats are also on this heated and cooled seats. The back seats are electric, heated and cooled again. I think we have blind spot monitor in your uh, door mirrors, you've got heated front screen, Th this will be a great demonstration because it's virtually a monsoon. So I'll take you up the motorway and you'll be able to see that everybody else is driving in spray and you can see above them. Bits dropping off trees there onto the car. I think it's TFT um, instrument display there so not actual analog clocks the digital rev counter on the left temperature gauge on the left in the rev counter the right hand side sp speedo with the fuel gauge at the bottom time outside temperature I'll uh, give it some gas as we go around the corner and up the dual carriageway here. You probably won't be able to hear the engine much for the for the rain, but it sounds awesome. And if it's anything like the last one we had, it pulls away for the size of the car and the weight of the car. I'll just wait until we straighten the wheels up because it's flooded here. The whole road is the whole road's flooded here. And 
massive wheels on the Range Rover just uh, shifting the water as you can see the spray coming off that car is as high as the car itself and we're just above it It's absolutely effortless, beautifully finished. There is one thing on this that I, I don't like as much as the Range Rover Sport actually, but uh, the Range Rover Sport has a flat ledge here that you can rest your arm on. And this is kind of curved, probably more stylish. But, uh, I don't know, it, it, I could put up with it. No, I'll just... Diesel engine, what a great sound. You can see the sprays up to the back of that Giulietta, up to the top and I can clearly see the cars in front. Wipers are clearing okay. We've got, uh, I think it's keyless entry and keyless start. Electronic handbrake here, Harman Kardon speakers. Just see the home menu. We'll put the camera view on. And there you go. It's it's excellent when you're uh, reversing into a space, of course, especially a marked parking space because you can see all the lines. Get the car right in the middle, and you can get a massive car like this in a tighter space than. Uh, Somebody can get a little course or fiesta. Wipers are slapping a bit, which is a uh, annoying. So that's the view out of the back, just enlarge that one. Again, back, we'll uh, enlarge that right one. There you go. Spooky view. So that's uh, front left, front right, right and left hand side, and rear view. I was going to set off then, but the tarmac's so bad in Preston, I think this car would just shred it. Here we go, we're off.
above all the spray, 70 miles an hour, and we're doing 1500 revs. The, the car's basically ticking over. If it weren't for the wipers, you'd hardly be able to hear anything in the rain. It's, uh, it's pretty silent. Okay, and it's probably uh, one of the last ones before they start going to touch switches and stuff like that, which when I switch something on I like to feel a click and I like to know it's on, not be feeling about. So if you can see from this camera in front, spray everywhere, you'll be able to see these people probably can't see much and we'll just, uh, we're coming off but we can see right over the top. Bad traffic on the M6 at the moment, heading south. the proximity I think. The sound in these as well if you like music, the Harman Kardon speakers and uh, the actual head unit. Xenon's headlamp wash, parking sensors, reversing camera. And uh, so that's my vision. And, and when I walk through the hall, Let's see if we can find some music. So that's just a dab radio as well. CD, better quality, I think. Again here, we've, we're driving through an inch of water there. Yeah, I just went past there and nearly run straight into the back of another car just up the road there. After weaving 
all through the traffic behind me. steaming up a bit, uh, got a bit wet in here when I was putting my cameras in before, put the heated screen on. Show you one more thing. So you've also got timed climate as well. You can see there when you're in a narrow space, just enlarge that. So that's uh, the left hand camera, and you can see where you're right up to the curb. soaking at the moment. got side running boards as well or side steps whatever you want to call them
gain or when you're uh, coming out of a junction and there's two cars together and you can't really see unless there's another Range Rover next to you you can see over the top of them so it's uh, you know it's safe to pull out the traffic lights here. 